All over social media, people ask, what is the best camera app that I can use for my iPhone? In this video, we're gonna talk about five camera apps that I use, and lots of other people use, and they're highly recommended. We're gonna see if they're right for you, and if you should get them. Let's get into it. So you've just got yourself an iPhone and you go, what is the best app? I wanna be able to manually adjust the shutter speed, manually adjust the ISO and manually adjust the focus because what I'm doing out of the native camera app just sucks, it's not working that well at all. So you go and jump onto Facebook and you go into the iPhone photography groups and say, I just bought an iPhone 11, what's the best app that I can manually use to do all of these things that I want to do because my photos aren't very good? And many people will come out of the woodwork. Well, well, well meaning people will come out of the woodwork and they'll tell you, go and download Pro Camera, Pro Cam, Halide, um, Moments, Slow Shutter, all these different apps to do all these different things. And at the end of the day, they're trying to help you out, but you've got to ask yourself a serious question. Is the app that I'm using the reason my photos suck? Do I want to spend my money on an app that may not help me anyway? So the apps that we're going to use is Halide, Camera Plus 2, Moment Pro Cam, Pro Camera, Pro Cam, and the native camera app. So we're using six different apps to take these photos. Now all of these apps are paid apps, except obviously for the native camera app, the one that comes on your phone. The rest of them are paid apps. And some of them, they range basically from three bucks to $15. This is Australian dollars. So they're not cheap. All of them have a, well, almost all of them will shoot RAW, some will shoot TIFF, all of them will have um, full manual mode so you can adjust the shutter, the white balance, the ISO, manually focus, do all those kinds of things. But do you need that? And this test is going to answer that question for you. So I'm just going to go into town, take a series of photos in different sort of lighting, indoors, outdoors, some at sunset as well, and we're going to take exactly the same photo with all of these apps. I'll show you these apps, show you the resulting photos, and you see if you can actually tell the difference between these photos. So the first place we're going to is the local post office. There's a lot of post office boxes sitting along there, and they have a nice leading line. So the first two photos here, one of these is Halide, one of these is Camera Plus 2. Can you tell the difference? The second set of photos is ProCam and Pro Camera. Can you tell the difference? The third set of photos is the Moment app and the native camera app. Can you tell the difference? And here is what app took what photo. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. So the next place I went to was when I was a kid vintage. It's a vintage store in town. Lots of old cool stuff in there and you walk around there going, I remember that when I was a kid, you know? That's why it's called what it is. So in there they had some of these uh, babushka dolls and they were all lined up on a bench there. And I took the same sort of approach to this and I took a series of six photos. Here they are, can you tell which one's which? After I took those photos, I saw these little glass figurines and bowls and stuff, and I asked Chris, what are these for? And he said, these are uranium glass, and, and they glow under a, a black light or a UV light. So I got Chris to shine a light onto this thing, and it glowed really well. I thought, that's another cool photo. So I did the same thing. Went and got six photos of the same bit of glass as Chris was shining on that UV light, glowing. So it was a, a nice contrast and um, good color about it. So these same six apps shot another six photos. Which one's which? Acting crazy like we used to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. After that, I went outside, took some photos of the Australian flag and the Aboriginal flag sitting there in front of the information centre in our town. And uh, same, same principles, same six photos, same six apps. Which one's which? And then lastly, this group of photos here is of the sunset that we had. And again, very high contrast in the sky. Six apps, six photos, which one was which? You can see by this point here, guys, that you really can't tell the difference between these six apps from where you are right now. So it's worth noting that all of these apps use the same interface with the same hardware, so you're governed by the same camera, all right? So there's a level playing field there. Some of these apps can record video, some can do low light modes, some of them can do macro photography, all of them use the different lenses that are on your phone right now. What I would say to you though is, 
use the native camera app, the app that comes with your phone, and master it first. You can adjust the exposure on this thing by touching for focus and touching for exposure and using that slider on the side to make it brighter or make it uh, dimmer and that will adjust the ISO and it will also adjust the shutter speed. So it's worthwhile mastering that first. You can't expect to go to a gym and be a bodybuilder, go to the gym once and go, where's all my muscles? You've got to go every single day, do the same things, get better and better and better and better. It's the same thing with photography. You can't expect to go and buy an app and go, I should be a good photographer now. It doesn't work that way. Get out there, learn, invest in yourself, invest in the knowledge, watch videos on this platform. I do lots of them. Other people do lots as well. Get out there and learn, invest in yourself, invest in the knowledge, get good compositions, get good storytelling with the native camera app. Once you get to the point where you go, oh, well, I want to do some slow shutter things. I want to do um, some sports photography. When you get to that point, that's when you need to start looking at other apps. So guys, learn the camera app that you've got, become a master at that before you go ahead and put your hand in your pocket for other apps. All right guys, I'll catch you later.